Well, hello again. We're going to talk about some of the top five reasons to avoid technology, and we're going to expand upon the idea of a smoke screen to cover up what we don't know. So bear with me. I think you will enjoy this. Discover the smoke screen. Man, what a way to go. The first reason that I, that I think I could give to avoid technology is that some classes just cannot be delivered online. Man, this is a powerful argument. Of course, those classes that can't be on, uh, delivered online with digital methodology probably have textbooks, and they can be delivered in type. Does seem to be a little contradictory, doesn't it? Another good reason that we can hide behind to keep from knowing this is that online learning does not allow interaction. Now, friends, we may not be using adequate interaction, but online delivery does indeed allow all sorts of interaction. How many of you went out to Facebook today? Talked to your friends. How many of you talked on cell phones? You did all sorts of things. Hmm. Maybe we need to avail ourselves of some of those uh, strengths. Another one that I really like is that I did not sign up for an online program. That I didn't come to I didn't come to the university to learn how to cipher and figure and read and think and be technologically savvy. Now I want to ask you a question, and I want you to really think about this. Do you think a person ought to be awarded? a degree in any form of education, bachelor's, master's, or doctorate, without being required to be technologically savvy, you probably can figure that I have some strong opinion about that. If you don't want to learn technology, then, then why are you pursuing education? And technology is the medium of today's world. Now, here's one I love, is our material is too technical, for digital delivery. Now just think about that. Of course, again, we have, uh, we have uh, technical guides in print that we can pass out and hand to each other, and we have to learn how to read those and look at them, but we can't use digital delivery. Sounds to me like there's a lot of contradiction in our opinion of what it takes to deliver online learning and uh, then using textbooks. My lands, if you can publish a textbook, look to me like it, you might be able to deliver material digitally. And you can do things in digital delivery that you certainly cannot do with a textbook. Just go ask some of the new publishers today and listen to what they have to say. Now, here's the one I love more than anything else, is we need to prepare for the future instead. Now, guys, let's give some thought to this as educators. Are we delivering, are we training people to work in the world that we grew up in? Or are we going to train them to work and be employed in the world that they will face? Uh, the 1960s are gone. And, and, and I love the 60s. Man, I found a quarter one day walking to school and it was the greatest day of my life. I mean, I bought a, I bought me a Coke. I bought me a couple of candy bars. I had a bag full of gum when I went home and still had money left in my pocket. Now, those days are gone. I stopped the other day with my grandchildren and bought, a, bought them all a snack, and the, the, the gasoline was $50, it was $50 and the snacks were 15 Times have changed. And we're not going to prepare people to work in yesterday's world we need to prepare people to work in tomorrow's world. Technology is here with us, and it's going to stay here till society or civilization collapses. So it's really important that you get prepared for this. And, and just so you remember what I look like, I'm one of these two characters, uh, if not both of them. And the, you can go out to the a &M Commerce website and find out about our institution. And if you want to email me, Get it on. I mean, I love it. I'm also fairly old. I have Rusty underscore Walter at Yahoo.com as well. I, was, I may not be the best, but I was the first that got there.